When the man was moving into his new house, he encountered something bizarre. As he measured the corner of the wall with a ruler, he was astonished to find a discrepancy of over 60 degrees at different points on the same wall. Even more shocking, when he poured a cup of hot water onto the floor, the water split into two separate streams. This immediately made him uneasy. Could this newly purchased house be haunted? To verify his suspicions, he took a tape measure from the drawer and measured the width of the room. Then, he and his daughter went outside to measure the same width from the outside. To his surprise, the external measurement was 2.5 meters longer than the inside. Theo was startled. Could there be a hidden room in the house? At that moment, Theo's daughter suddenly felt cold and ran back into the house. However, when Theo looked through the glass, he didn't see her in the living room. Initially, he thought she was playing hide and seek, so he didn't worry. But when he returned inside, he found her jacket on the floor. His daughter had vanished without a trace inside the villa. Just a while ago, Theo had bought this isolated villa online at an extremely low price, and the strange occurrences started happening immediately after. Upon entering the villa, his wife was very pleased with the interior decor. Suddenly, Theo heard a strange noise coming from one of the rooms. He asked his wife if she heard it too, but she said she hadn't heard anything, suggesting it might be his imagination due to stress. Theo didn't think much of it and took his wife and daughter on a quick tour of their new home. After dinner, as his young daughter was playing shadow games on her bed, strange things started happening. A dark silhouette suddenly appeared on the left side of the wall, startling the little girl. Fortunately, Theo walked in from outside just then. His daughter told him about the shadow on the wall, but Theo thought Ella was just making an excuse to avoid going to bed. He turned off the bedside lamp and left her room. The next moment, Ella hid under the covers, turning her back to the wall, hoping to avoid the shadow behind her. Notice the time on the alarm clock in the bottom right corner of the screen. It's currently 10.29 p.m. After Theo turned off the lights in the living room and returned to the bedroom, his wife was already asleep. Startled by Theo, she asked where he had been, saying she had waited so long she nearly fell asleep. At this moment, Theo didn't notice that the time on the alarm clock had changed to 3.11 a.m. It had taken him five whole hours to walk from the living room to the bedroom. The next day, Theo woke up abruptly from a nightmare in which he saw an old man with a cane who seemed to be trying to tell him something. Startled awake, he looked at the clock. It was already 10.30 a.m. He noticed a note left by his wife on the table, saying she and their daughter had gone out for a walk. With a rare day of leisure, Theo decided to head to the country store to buy some supplies. After filling a box with goods, he went to the checkout counter. The store owner asked if Theo lived in the nearby villa. Theo was shocked. They had moved in just yesterday afternoon, less than 24 hours ago. So how did the store owner know? To Theo's further surprise, the owner recounted several strange events that had occurred in the villa the previous night. Before Theo left, the owner handed him a 90-degree angle ruler, saying he might find it useful. As Theo was about to leave, he noticed an old woman with white hair and sunglasses standing next to his car. She, too, mentioned those strange occurrences, just like the store owner. The woman advised Theo to leave the villa as soon as possible, without providing any specific reasons. If the store owner's remarks could be seen as a coincidence, this encounter certainly wasn't. Theo began to suspect that there might truly be something wrong with the villa. That evening, when Theo got home, he opened his notebook and found a strange message, you should leave here. The handwriting matched his own perfectly, as if he had written it himself, but he had no memory of doing so. Just then, he heard his daughter screaming from outside. Instinctively, Theo turned around, but his reflection in the mirror didn't move. When he turned back, the reflection mimicked his movements again, but with a slight delay. Glancing back up at the mirror, he saw his shadow lagging behind his actions. Another scream from his daughter jolted him, and Theo rushed outside. Following the direction of the sound, Theo discovered a hidden door behind the bookshelf. Without much hesitation, he went straight in. He didn't know how long he had been walking, but eventually, Theo reached the lowest level. It was like a maze down there, with no end in sight. His daughter's voice echoed from within, and gathering his courage, he stepped inside. Suddenly, a figure darted past him from behind. Theo sensed something, but when he turned around, there was nothing to be seen. Continuing deeper into the maze, Theo came to a corner and saw someone standing ahead. He called out loudly twice, but the person disappeared into the alley. He quickly chased after them, only to unexpectedly find the ground covered with photos of his family. Theo was stunned. It seemed the supermarket owner was right. There was definitely something wrong with this villa. Reaching the end of the maze, 
Theo found his daughter's lifeless body lying in a room. Panicked, he quickly picked up Ella, unable to believe what was happening. This had to be a nightmare. In desperation, he shattered a glass bottle and aimed the sharp edge at his neck. Thankfully, it really was just a nightmare. Still shaken, he went to his study and opened his notebook from the previous night. To his shock, it contained the exact seven words he had dreamed. He turned another page, only to read, It's all too late. You cannot escape this fate. At that moment, Theo no longer wanted to stay in the villa. He found his wife and urged her to quickly pack their things and take their daughter away while he contacted the seller for a refund. Just then, Theo noticed that his wife had two phones. Suspicious, he waited until she wasn't looking and opened the second phone, only to find messages from another man. Furious, he confronted his wife, demanding an explanation. Instead of being flustered, she accused Theo of invading her privacy. The argument escalated, and in her anger, she left Theo and their daughter, driving away alone. With no other options, Theo had to stay in the villa with Ella. While playing, Ella accidentally knocked over a cup of hot water. Strangely, the water split into two streams when it hit the floor. Remembering the ruler the supermarket owner had given him, Theo used it to measure the corners of the room. To his astonishment, he found a difference of over 60 degrees on the same wall. This led to the scene at the beginning. Measuring the width outside, Theo discovered an extra 2.5 meters that shouldn't exist. Ella, feeling cold, ran back inside and then disappeared without a trace. Theo searched around the villa for hours, but it was as if Ella had vanished into thin air. Desperately anxious, Theo rushed back and forth through the villa, but eerily, no matter how he ran, he seemed trapped in a loop. The exit on the second floor became the entrance on the first floor, preventing him from leaving. Grabbing a chair from the corner, Theo wedged it in a doorway to mark his position. However, when he looked up, he was stunned by what he saw. The villa had somehow multiplied into dozens of identical rooms, each one a perfect replica of the other. At that moment, Theo heard his daughter's cries for help coming from one of the rooms. He chose one and went inside. After circling the room, he discovered the secret room behind the wardrobe again. Just as he stepped inside, the door shut automatically, trapping both him and Ella in the secret room. Inside, an unkempt old man stood in front of Ella, spewing threats. Ella was terrified and screamed. Theo, hearing her screams from outside, kicked the door open and rescued his daughter. Thankfully, she was only a little shaken up and not physically harmed. From that moment on, Theo didn't dare let his daughter out of his sight. He tried calling his wife, hoping she would come back and take them away, but she was still upset and didn't answer. Desperate, Theo rummaged through the trash and found the supermarket receipt with the owner's phone number. Theo called the owner and asked if he could borrow a car, promising to pay double once he left. However, the owner told Theo that he would never be able to leave because there was something terrifying beneath the villa. In the ensuing conversation, Theo learned that the villa was once a church used to imprison convicts. One night, it mysteriously burned to the ground. To calm the locals, a villa was built on the same spot. Anyone with guilt in their hearts who moved in could never leave. Realizing the danger, Theo grabbed his daughter and fled the villa, determined to escape this haunted place. They walked for what seemed like an eternity until they reached an estate. To his horror, Theo discovered they had returned to the starting point, the villa. It seemed the supermarket owner had spoken the truth, they could never leave. With no other option, Theo decided to stay in the villa with his daughter for the night, planning to leave the next day. Just as he closed his eyes, a flashlight suddenly illuminated their faces, startling Theo awake. Memories of the photos he had seen in the basement flooded back, connecting the pieces of the puzzle. Then, he heard a commotion from the adjacent study. Theo rushed in, only to find another version of himself inside. At that moment, he finally realized. He was trapped in an endless loop. As the new version of himself left the room, Theo wrote down the seven words, you should leave this place in the notebook. This explained why the handwriting on the notebook matched his own, but he couldn't remember writing it. Shouting twice at his incoming self, Theo found himself back at the beginning scene of moving into the new house. With time on his wristwatch ticking incessantly, the entire space began to distort. Thirty minutes later, Theo walked out of the villa with his daughter in his arms. He put his daughter in the car, and then confessed a secret that had been hidden in his heart for years to his wife. It turned out he had a previous wife who had committed suicide twenty years ago, and Theo had witnessed the whole process. He didn't try to save her, he just silently watched as his ex-wife drowned. Though he had no direct involvement, 
the guilt haunted him for the rest of his life. Just as the supermarket owner had said, anyone with a guilty conscience who moved in could never leave. In the end, Theo put his wife and daughter in the car and chose to live alone in the eerie villa.